This forbidden anime begins with a guy named Yuichi. After enduring countless grueling hours as a corporate worker, the humble Yuichi finally manages to finish work on time. Miho, his attractive red-headed colleague, approaches him with a warm smile, congratulating him on his hard work. She mentions that thanks to his hard work, he will be able to make it on time for his girlfriend's birthday date. Fueled by her words, Yuichi feels a rush of happiness at the thought of seeing his girlfriend and thanks Miho for all her help. Just as he is thinking about his girlfriend, Kaori, he receives a call from her. Yuichi eagerly tells her that he's done with work and will see her immediately. Before he can finish, Kaori interrupts him and in a surprising turn of events, says they should break up. Yuichi freezes, overwhelmed by confusion and anxiousness. He desperately tries to understand what he did to mess up their relationship. Kaori apologizes and confesses that she has been seeing someone all along while being in a relationship with him. Yuichi is left speechless as Kaori tells him that she won't be seeing him anymore and says her final goodbye. Miho notices Yuichi's expression and asks her senpai what's bothering him. So, Yuichi tells her he just got dumped without knowing the reason at all. Miho is surprised and quickly tries to cover up the smirk she's unable to stop from appearing on her face. It's as if she's been somehow hoping for such an outcome. She then quickly takes the opportunity to ask Yuichi out for drinks since she's also finished with work. At the restaurant, Yuichi vents all of his frustrations to Miho, wondering what he did wrong to get dumped. Miho silently thinks to herself that he's been asking the same question for four hours straight. He wonders if he's too broke or low class for Kaori, and mentions that he even asked for Miho's advice on Kaori's gift. Miho then pats him on the head as a way to comfort him. Yuichi immediately blushes because he's probably not used to such gestures since his ex-girlfriend wasn't that kind to him. Miho explains that he looks cute while looking dejected, but Yuichi thinks she's making fun of him for getting dumped. Miho says she would never make fun of him and thinks that he's cool for being so serious and dedicated about his girlfriend. Yuichi mentions that Miho is so nice to him, and Miho calls him a great man for being devoted to his work and love life. Yuichi bitterly says that he got betrayed on regardless of being devoted to his relationship. Miho then wastes no time to make her move and suggests being his girlfriend instead. Yuichi chuckles and thinks Miho is just joking around to cheer him up. Miho bluntly tells him that she isn't messing around, but Yuichi brushes it off saying it's just the drinks talking. He offers to walk her home, and Miho accepts with a mischievous smile on her face. It's as if she has probably been waiting for this the moment she met her senpai. As Yuichi walks with Miho to her home, Yuichi feels skeptical and asks if they're already close by. He wonders if Miho really lives in the area since there are only hotels around. When Miho announces that they've arrived, she excitedly points towards one of the hotels. Yuichi is in disbelief and is sure that Miho is making questionable decisions, and can't help but get defensive against her. Miho doesn't mind his words and grabs his hand to enter because she won't let a good opportunity go to waste. As they get to their room, Miho is in awe at the size of it, and they both have flushed faces. When Yuichi asks Miho what plans she has up her sleeve, she rushes towards the bed and calls for him to sit beside her. Yuichi averts his gaze and defensively states that he has a girlfriend, but Miho adds salt to his wound and reminds him that they've just broken up. Miho tells him not to worry and lays his head down on her lap. She comforts and praises him for all of his love and hard work for Kori's sake. Miho mentions that since Yuichi doesn't have a girlfriend anymore, she's able to have him for herself and love him in return. Yuichi is surprised upon hearing Miho confess that she's been in love with him for a while. Miho says that she's been hiding it since she was aware of his girlfriend. But now that Yuichi is single, Miho says she no longer needs to hide it and starts checking out his flute. Yuichi tells her to stop, but Miho doesn't listen to him and takes her drum set out. Miho assures Yuichi that she'll play the kinds of songs he wants since Kaori is a normie and Yuichi wasn't able to make cultural music with her. Miho tries out Yuichi's flute and he's impressed at her skills, so he compliments her with his liquid confetti. Miho confesses that she loved him the moment they met and will listen and do what he says. 
Yuichi is hesitant about becoming a band with her since she's his junior at work. However, Miho tells him it doesn't matter since they can make great music together. Yuichi feels bad about getting into another relationship right after getting dumped since it feels dishonest. Miho immediately tells him not to think about anything else and to make the most out of the opportunity she's giving him. Yuichi looks at her flushed face and thinks that Miho may be the only one in the world who would want someone like him. Yuichi accepts and professes his love for her, and they start making sounds of harmony together to prepare for their debut album. Yuichi ends up loving being in a band with Miho and imagines having concerts in secret at their workplace. After their performance, Yuichi celebrates with her by releasing his liquid confetti. The following morning, Yuichi's alarm rings and he's confused about why he's in a hotel. He suddenly recalls his concert last night with Miho and starts panicking because of his questionable decisions in life. Miho greets him a good morning and tells him not to run away. She then grabs a hold of him so they can go about their morning cultural performance. Back at work, Miho wonders if she can go home together with Yuichi when he's finished. When Miho asks, Yuichi informs her that he needs to work overtime. Miho offers to help, but Yuichi declines. She then gets another idea and asks Yuichi if she can wait for him to return home later that night. Yuichi suddenly imagines having Miho as a housewife. One who's always ready to cater to his needs when he arrives home, be it nutritional or cultural in nature. Miho calls out his name, snapping him back to reality, and Yuichi willingly hands her his house keys. Yuichi finishes his overtime work and walks home, but bumps into a college friend named Shirori. Yuichi is amazed at how much Shirori has changed. Suddenly, Shirori drags him off to have drinks despite him desperately trying to take a rain check on her. Shirori immediately gets tipsy, and Yuichi takes his phone out to message Miho to update her. Shirori notices and asks if he's chatting with his girlfriend. Yuichi says yes and tells Shirori about Miho. Shirori congratulates and urges him to drink more since it's her treat. As a result, Yuichi completely forgets to message Miho. Meanwhile, Miho waits patiently for Yuichi at his house, concerned that the food she cooked is getting cold on the table. The doorbell suddenly rings and Miho is excited to see Yuichi again. She answers the door but unexpectedly finds him tipsy while in Shiori's arms. Shirori mentions that she forgot Yuichi can't handle his drinks and apologizes. Miho swiftly grabs her man and holds him possessively while giving Shirori a scrutinizing look. She introduces herself to Shirori as Yuichi's girlfriend. When Miho asks about who she is, Shirori introduces herself and informs Miho that she and Yuichi were in the same club back in college. She tells the details of their encounter and ensures Miho that nothing happened between them and that they were only having drinks to catch up. Miho thanks her for bringing Yuichi back home and closes the door. She takes care of Yuichi and scolds him, saying it was bad of him to go out drinking with another woman while she worried about him at home. Miho uses her stockings and some special cleaning solution to reprimand Yuichi and clean his flute. Then, when the time is right, things suddenly get messy because Yuichi is unable to hold back and accidentally spills his liquid confetti. While Miho cleans diligently, she makes Yuichi promise that he won't go out drinking with ladies aside from her unless he has her permission. Yuichi promises her and says he loves her. Since Miho is happy with his answer, he is no longer grounded and she allows him to take over their performance. Yuichi switches things up and uses the forbidden Cerberus technique on her. Songs of symphony ring out in the room and Miho and Yuichi indulge in their time with each other. When their music ends, Yuichi releases buckets of liquid confetti and apologizes for making too much of a mess. Miho doesn't mind it and pushes for an encore. For their next song, Yuichi plays his instruments so intensely, making Miho release her high notes. Miho tells him that he isn't allowed to look at other girls when he already has her. She acts possessively towards him, making it clear that he isn't allowed to betray her and should stay in love with her forever. Yuichi declares that he will love her forever as he strikes her drums in a fast manner. They both sing songs of glory until Yuichi releases his liquid confetti again and Miho reaches those high notes, 
ending their performance. On a new day, Miho and Yuichi have breakfast together and Yuichi compliments her cooking. He formally apologizes for what happened the other night and having her wait for him until the food had gotten cold. Miho assures him that she's already forgiven him and asks Yuichi not to do anything that would make her worry again. Yuichi mentions that there's something he's been meaning to bring up, and then he asks if Miho wants to move in with him. Miho looks at him shocked, and Yuichi explains that he's been having her come over almost every day so it would be the best idea to have Miho move in. Miho gladly accepts his offer and plans to start moving in as soon as possible. Miho hugs him as she's excited to move in with him, and wishes he'll take care of her for as long as they live. Subscribe for more videos like this. Turn on notifications and leave a like, it really helps the channel.